Hello and welcome to Daisies and Dragons Cast Friendship, where we talk to some of our friends in the TTRPG community who we think, or just people who we think are cool, doing really cool stuff that we want to share with all of you. And just, yeah, and just talk about role playing games and all the fun stuff that can happen there. Today, I am very lucky to bring with you uh, Fabio Casa, uh, who is work, who's coming all the way from uh, France, who has put, made his own uh, TTRPG, his own centering, uh, setting Gandaria, uh, the Arcane Lords. Have I said it correctly? Yeah, Gandaria, Arcane Lords, uh, TTRPG, yes. But yeah. uh, also, there is a battle uh, system, so, and, yeah. and clan building system. So, oh, yeah. that's more than a classic uh, TTRPG. Oh, oh, like wargaming, you mean? Oh, that'll be you. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, and I want to hear all about that as we're going to be discussing it. But first, uh, let's have just a little introduction to the people watching who don't, who might not know about you. Uh, can you tell us a little about yourself and what got you into role playing games? Okay, so um, I I play role play games from um, 1994. Um, so uh, I'm game master from 2004 and uh, starting um, crea creation of um, games from uh, um, um, 2012. Uh, that's the, the beginning for me to for, for creation of uh, role play games. Sorry for my English, but uh, I do my best. <laughs> so, um, and it's a uh, it's a very large experience because you have to create a system. You have to create a, a specific um, game design for uh, the intention of game. So that's very uh, uh, interesting to to work on. Uh, many projects at the same time, and I have a lot of games uh, which are uh, in loading for uh, uh, be, being edited. Uh, and so I'm editor. Oh, you're a writer and, uh, and an editor for a bunch of games. Uh, why did you decide? Why did you decide to? What's your like? Do you always like make your own systems, or do you ever write for things like World of Darkness, for Dungeons and Dragons, for Conan? Do you write for any? Of uh, those big ones, or are they all independent, your own kind of systems? Um, in fact, in France, uh, we we need uh, to to be to to have an edition. We we need uh, an original system. Now, so uh, I I was searching for the most in efficient the, the most efficient system I can find or discover or uh, <clears throat> um, create. And uh, that's the the that's the way to be uh, to be on the marketplace. So uh, uh, because it's uh, very important for me to to share uh, this uh, work. Uh, I I prefer to to create everything, and the game design is uh, is very interesting. And so I have created a universal system. Which called increasing to die system, which is seems like a savage word you said, but uh, um, you know there is um, evolution of uh, dice. Uh, you you just begin with two dice of six. After that, you have two dice of eight, and two dice of ten, and two dice of twelve. So uh, the competence, the les competences, competences. Yeah. Uh, the competency, uh, the, the how skillful you are, of the yeah. adventure improves. The skills, the skills are uh, increasing uh, the, the statistics. So it's mm -hmm. uh, and you 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 have a um, um, bonus of um, uh, characteristic. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and that's uh, that's very simple for the base for the motor. Well, that's very cool. That's like an interesting set. Interesting system, but I think what we're really excited about is we want to hear about Gandira, the Arcana Lords. Like when I heard about it, it was just e this Eastern punk, uh, clock punk, mm. Eastern fantasy, clock punk kind of setting. Can you tell us about it? Like for people who don't know about the setting and why it's really cool. Okay, so once upon a time in the multiverse, uh, you have uh, some uh, word which appear by, um, um, you know. Um, forces, powers like gods, which uh, create something, but they they 
they have done crimes on the paradise. So uh, the world is not very um, uh, pleasant, you know, it's dark. Dark oriental uh, fantasy clock punk. And uh, there is, uh, you know, something like the battle between light and shadows, but uh, uh, in fact, there is uh, more political options, more um, uh, philosophical op options for the, the evolution of the game. You can play with the tradition and the modernity, you can play with the magic and the non-magic uh, people, etc. So there is a there is other options, and you can find uh, in this world um, uh, a big empire, Gandaya, which is uh, um, which now uh, invaders uh, becoming from the north, uh, people like um, Mughal, you know, but it's not Mughal, it's the dark uh, side of Mughal, it's a Mughul. And uh, there is a, a real Mughal uh, classic uh, people, which is called uh, a Golden Horde. But that's the Black Horde, and they are invaders of the Gandaria. They, they join a very large sect, which is called uh, Kshayatrim. You know, there are wires of Shayats, and uh, they, they try to, to create their own empire of, of shadows uh, on Gandaria. So, uh, there is kingdoms who we, we res resist, sure, sure. Uh, like uh, Maha, you know, uh, which is uh, uh, based on India. There is also um, Basile, which uh, is uh, with Byzantine influences, Pelaboya, which is an archipel, an archipel um, uh, based on Italia, um, you know, and uh, and the other, the other kingdoms uh, have many problems with the shadow, are uh, trying to invade uh, the empire. So it's very, very uh, political and military uh, complex situation. You can have many options to, to play. And we begin in a very large city, which is called uh, Balada Jama. And uh, this city is uh, an old, um, capital, capital of the empire, um, not uh, on not on a ruin, not ruin, but um, old, and um, uh, so that's a place where many refugees come because of the invasions, and so there is a massive, massive um, uh, demography on this city. So very, very important because it's uh, the first line of the war. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that sounds like an exciting place to start. And I'm always excited to have uh, political RPGs. Those are like the idea for political fantasy. Those are like my favorite parts, like Chose a Game of Thrones and when other ones do it. Those are really exciting. And so it all the first starting city is this ancient cosmopolitan city with like loads of different, like from the different places, like Maha, ones that were inspired by Italy, all those other ones. It does sound like a lot of fun. And it sounds like you've taken inspiration from lots of different places. But so, but what inspired you? Like, what was your starting point that inspired? Like, I want to make this world. What inspired? Mm -hmm. I have to make this world. And where were your big calling points? Yeah. Firstly, uh, firstly, uh, I can explain. Um, uh, my my parents um, discovered themselves in India from a travel, and they they have. May, they have done many, many travels on the world, on the Arabian world, or, or uh, you know, many. Then they have encountered many populations, and uh, they give me this legacy, uh, which are which is um, spirituality uh, and uh, yoga. So uh, I've I've discovered it uh, when I when I became adult and uh, trying to to understand what is my own position so that's the the, the start of what is very in, uh, intimate uh, intimate uh, personal uh, okay. but there is uh, there is the, the role play game uh, which is my favorite uh, hobby so i I'm, i was thinking about uh, uh, create a mythology 
with uh, orient, Oriental or uh, Eastern people, uh, Eastern religions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's in the multiverse. Don't you won't find something which exists on this world. There is a, the there is a powers or gods uh, which have the same name that uh, mythologic, mythological or religi religious. Uh, uh, names, but uh, their story, their uh, their uh, position on the background is very different. Uh, you know, uh, you can find so you can find uh, Garuda, which is uh, which have inspired something very impressive, something very strong, something very um, Terrifying. So yeah. uh, she inspired uh, a dark uh, power on this world, on this universe, uh, and uh, that's you, you. You said me before. It's uh, more like DT. Uh, I don't know, but I'm sure, sure, sure. I mean, we've yeah. had like discussion about the different ideas, like and yeah. it's like some of these things will be similar, and some of them more like a dark reflection of what they are in our universe and our religion. So that's very cool. Mm. Like, uh, can you tell a little bit? Like, I know. Maha, like the region of India, something you're like growing and you're exploring. But there are only yeah. some powerful like Indian influences. Like, why don't you tell us about the uh, Rakshasa? Like, you've done some interesting stuff with like the yeah, Rakshasa. Um, Rakshasa are following the way of um, the savage, um, the way of the savage, and they um, they live uh, on Gandaya, yeah, but they are, they have been created by Garuda. Uh, just uh, she. Because it's uh, she in this world, just yeah. she uh, she lost them because of uh, the mission they had. They had the mission to uh, be against humans, but uh, they don't they they uh, they don't want to do that uh, anymore at a time. So uh, they stop and uh, they just uh, they just. You know, make the roots give roots uh, yeah. of uh, their uh, magical um, power on the Gondaya world on the Akbar, and uh, so there is a um, you know a um, separation with the gods, and they and so Garuda couldn't um, uh, dominate them uh, anymore. So they they have. They have took their, their freedom like that, but there is complications because Garuda was angry, and so she created Vanaras to mm -hmm. to fight against Rakshasas. Yeah, and, and that's a, yeah. a war between Rakshasas and uh, Vanaras. Yeah. Almost like a twisted Ramayan, because in our a reflection of the one in our world, Ramayan, the Vanaras were the they're inspired by the uh, Hanuman's people, the uh, monkeys uh, who allied the monkey people who allied with Ram, uh, mm. and uh, Lakshmin to rescue Sita, and now it's sort of like a reverse of that, like good versus bad. It's it, it's like an interesting thing. So you'll see similar similar things, but also uh, different things. Uh, currently, it's only in uh, the settings only in French right now. Uh, right now. Is there any plans you have to uh, translate it into different language, uh, into different languages? Maybe bring it to England, uh, English. Yeah, uh, I um, I have choose to to make this word in a website firstly, mm -hmm. and so you can use Google Google Translate to have your uh, English or other uh, version. But uh, uh, for the books, uh, which not exist at <coughs> at this moment um, yeah. because uh, the crowdfunding have not been uh, done, so um, you can find everything until the. 28th of September, uh, f totally free on the website. And after that, so that's uh, on uh, uh, seigneursetenchanteurs.fr, you, you, you will give the, the link. Um, yeah, yeah, of course. We'll share the link to that. Not a problem at all. Uh, can, you tell us about, uh, yeah, can you tell us about, like, uh, you decided to do something very interesting with the, uh, with the website. You've done it where it's a subscription based, and through that, you gain access to all the rules, all the information. Uh, currently, it's free for everybody. But like, so can you tell us about this subscription base? Why did you decide to do it this way instead of like keeping all the information secret until the the books come out? Why did you decide to do it this way? Um, because uh, I think um, you know when when Sebastian Silvan, the editor I have uh, encountered in the first, um, give me the I always say give me the 
the power words don't have the expression in English, but the the, the words of power, the words we create. Um, you know, he, he said to me, uh, don't worry about, um, you know, rules or uh, habits. Uh, you can do it uh, very um, transparent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, as you like. Do it for, for players. Uh, and after that, when, uh, when, because you have rights, so you, you will um, choose you will choose after. Uh, I've uh, created this website with a uh, pay um, payment um, for um, game masters, but uh, in fact, I prefer to to let the people discovering, let the people discover, and uh, let them play. And after that, they they will they will choose to to. Yeah, to uh, the one, to to fund the game, um, to to have uh, illustrations and uh, uh, you know battle kits because uh, there, there would be battles too. Of course. Yeah. yeah, you mentioned it's partially war gaming as well, so there'll be like battle kits, maybe minis, maybe miniatures in the in the Many future. miniatures. Yeah, so, there yeah. is uh, twenty twenty archetypes of uh, character. Um, there is eight uh, form of magic, uh, spares, divination, alchemy, talismans, imprecations, chimera, exorcism, pranism. So many situations. And all of them sound cool, even the ones I don't understand. No, I know what all of them are. I know what all of them are, but it still sound very cool. They still sound very cool, and like when I'm reading them, they do sound like a lot of fun. Uh, and I am excited for like the future of it. Uh, like you mentioned that. Under 28, you're planning to like uh, make the website go back to uh, it no longer be free. Does that mean that you're planning a crowdfunding at that point, or you're planning to release a new book, or what do you plan? What's the future of Gandira? So the future is uh, for this summer illustrations of the covers of uh, the extensions uh, and the screen, and uh, at the autumn we we come back in actual play. And uh, during the uh, 2023, we will have uh, our crowdfunding on Game On. And uh, that's all. <laughs> after, after uh, we, we must write everything, you know, Atlas, the Atlas of the game. Uh, we, we must uh, write uh, um, many, many... Um, uh, information about magic in uh, the arcane and mysticism uh, extension. And so after, um, it, there will be a second novel because there is an, a first novel which uh, explained the situation uh, from the start. And there will be a, a second novel when we will have uh, all the, um, <clears throat> you know, the, uh, la gamme, <laughs> la gamme. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, um, uh, yeah. you'll, be, yeah. you'll be writing the books because you said you're an author as well. Uh, the range, the range. When we will have all the range, we we gonna we gonna have the, the second novel uh, to introduce the second season of uh, uh, the background. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, so that sounds uh, very interesting. And uh, are you planning to uh, write the books yourself because you said that you're an author, mm -hmm. or you're planning? Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. So, how many people are involved with the uh, with the project right now? You mentioned an editor. Presumably, you've got some illustrators. Like, how many people are involved with this? So, um, in France, there is a, a very large market, the second of the world after USA, and maybe the first. I am not sure. Um, there is many gamers uh, of TTRPG and uh, uh, also just after France there is Belgium which is near and so a very large francophone um, uh, market for, uh, for games. So there is many creations, many new games coming from France or Belgium and so um, it's a little difficult to find its own place on this uh, um, 
you know explosion of uh, creativity so <laughs> but uh, we we have we have been um, we have been interviewed uh, i i have been interviewed by um some medias of, of france uh TTRPG, like uh, Des Milliers des Sons, uh, Les Portes de l'Imaginaire, and uh, also uh, Architotis, and The Grog, of course, because The Grog is a place to be. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. I, had no, I didn't know how uh, big uh, TTRPG market was in France. I had no idea it was like the second. What is the TTRPG scene like? Is everyone playing Dungeons and Dragons? Do they prefer Call of Cthulhu, Conan? Are they all doing like games that you can only get in France. What is like the big, what's the role-playing scene like in uh, France? Um, there is many games, so it's very hard. There is, um, uh, you know, games for beginners. Uh, there is, um, um, you know, concept games, um, play by forum or, uh, you know, and, and we have covens, we have uh, seven, we have uh, so many uh, situations uh, for um, uh, there is um, associations, uh, many, many situations uh, uh, which favorite, I don't know how to Well, yeah, you have many possibilities to, to find players, Discord, of course, uh, also uh, social uh, networks. That's that's awesome to know. Like we as Daisy Dragon, we're trying to like create a bigger market, a bigger community of players in India. We're trying to get more people to play. We're trying to connect people, but it's very much still uh, very much. You know, someone's so you're in a Discord or you're in the WhatsApp group. Almost like only a couple of years ago, maybe last year, everyone, almost everyone who's a dungeon master, was in the same WhatsApp group. So it's like, it's nice to know, like, how how was it able, like, wh how long has France's, like, uh, has it always been, like, the second biggest? Or has, like, France's TTRPG market just grown very quickly in the last few years? Or, like... Uh, yeah, it's a few years because of, um, you know, some... Um, uh, when the actual play have been created uh, in uh, America, uh, at the same time, uh, the big geek community of uh, YouTube uh, create uh, um, an adventure, and the name is Adventure. <laughs> so that's uh, that's that. It was uh, uh, um, some kind of discovery, a uh, discover for um, the um, the French uh, YouTubers and uh, followers. And uh, so they said, "Oh my God, this is great! This simple, this is free." So. <laughs> Yeah, come on, and they they came uh, on the network uh, communities, and the communities grew were, were growing, growing, growing. So now uh, we are we are the seconds, but um, I think that's not very important. That's the the pleasure to find uh, every sort of games or gamers, and that's uh, that's great. And I, also, uh, I I hope. Uh, the same for India because uh, that's very important for me to to know that uh, uh, we we are not alone on, on our own world. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Like it's it, it suddenly like does get a bit hard with a language barrier of like finding about role playing games, like finding out about yours. But the internet has made that a lot easier, and like especially when something very cool like yours is coming out, which like there aren't that many Eastern punk fantasy like role-playing games in general uh, just like and yours it had such great illustrations it had like such cool ideas and like the rule, rules looked fun and like it's like every time i'm reading I'm like oh there's always more stuff happening so i'm just really excited to like see like your take on it like and like how it's done as well as your dark reflection i'm hoping that inspires more like more eastern punk more uh games inspired by india inspired by arabia inspired by the byzantine empire all these like fun different ideas and it'd be fun Definitely, I'm looking forward to seeing how it grows, how it develops, like how the community gets, uh, how the community gets bigger. And so yeah. I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm looking forward I, to I think it, that's the 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 good time for this uh, type of games because in France we are beginning to um, propose situations on um, periods which have not been ex um, exploited exploited. Uh, before, yeah, we, okay. we are we have uh, um, 
we are on a, a situation we we are searching for new experiences and so um we are very interesting by um situation we don't know nothing about so uh, i think uh, with indian culture or uh, uh, south asian culture uh, in general we have many things to discover there is uh, games uh, uh, about uh, china china or japan but um um yeah th there is many games about but uh, we we don't know anything about south uh, asia for the moment and so uh, we I, I'm very happy to, to be one of the first with Cafarnaum in France uh, to exploit uh, this, um, this background, very rich yeah. background. Yeah, it's a rich period. It's, yeah, not exploiting, but like understanding, utilizing it in that way. And it's, like, it's definitely a lot of fun, like finding out more about this kind of, finding out more about India and that kind of thing. That would be, be a lot of fun. So besides, uh, yeah, besides Akana's Lords, uh, have you made any? Uh, you say, and uh, what other TTRPGs? You said you've been writing TTRPGs since about 2012. Uh, what other uh, game series or books or like other stuff that you've uh, have you written? Or what? Like, what's your favorite thing that you've written? Because okay. you've made a favorite like you've done uh, a lot. I have, I have, uh, I have, no, uh, I have, um, Ed edited, designed. No, uh, no. <laughs> uh, read it. Read. Read. I've read. I've read many uh, books uh, from the Sahih to, um, you know, um, Dossi, the, the king. Um, yeah, no. Uh, the, the king book, the king's books of uh, Dossi, uh, you know, many um, poets, uh, Sufi no. poets, and uh, I, for India, the Mahabharata. Yeah, or, I'm, I was asking, what role-playing games have you made and stuff have you made since 2012? Not what you're in. I know. Oh, how many, how many games? Yes, that's what I was asking. Uh, something like uh, eight or nine, I think. What was, what's been your favorite besides uh, the Arcana Swords? Uh, what's been your favorite to work on? Gandaya Sentinels, the, the next one. The next one. <laughs> you're always looking forward. Yeah. Uh, how, how is something else uh, different from like uh, what what new yeah. aspect is something else going to show? Uh, or can you more, ep more, yeah. more epic. Uh, this is a new situation for gamers because uh, we will be on the South uh, Kingdoms, and uh, there that's the Republic of Denzumar. Um, so uh, in this uh, city of Denzumar. There is the fountain of uh, life. The fountain of life is uh, some kind of column which uh, is uh, all over the worlds, all over the, the subtle plants of the of the world of uh, Gondaria. And so uh, that's the the way for souls to come on the um, eternity. The, um, the world of soul is called the Bardo. And so there is um, a magical races which comes from um, the dream world and the uh, guardo, uh, like angels, jinns, rakshasas, and you yeah. will you will play that. You will play rakshasas, angels, and and jinns, and bases, which are uh, cat men um, born from uh, the dreams of kindly witches. So that's uh, something uh, very very strong you have a way and when um you you have a situation um which can be compared to the the level of your way you can active uh, a special gift uh, of power and um very it's a very strong uh, power so uh, you can you can be uh, some uh, how to say um you can give buffs to your your friends. You can you can be um, um, how to say uh, damage like hurting enemies, yeah. hurting enemies. You can yeah. buff yourself. Oh, it's, it's cool. Lots of different uh, options. Lots of cool things, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and that mm -hmm. definitely sounds very fun. But there's something like I think 
a lot of the audience and us would be very excited to talk to because you've been working for so long as a making games and that thing. Uh, if someone wanted to get into like making games and like making a game based on something that inspired inspired them, uh, like how what advice would you give them? Like how would you get them to start? How would you what advice? Yeah, what would you tell them to do? Well, firstly, you you are a um, game master, so you you are um, you you need to create many things for your gamers, for your players. Uh, so it's the beginning. You you write your uh, synopsis, scenario, etc. And uh, after that, you 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 have some ideas of new worlds, new new universe, new situations. Uh, to create new situations, you need to um, create um, a lore for, and uh, so um, uh, yeah, that's uh, oh, oh, that's um, the next level. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I meant I meant like how you are uh, you're publishing again, like how you became like a professional, like you're writing it as a as a career rather than like just becoming a game master for your friends. Like, what advice do you have? They're getting into doing it professionally as opposed to just like doing it for their friends, like writing a whole world that you're putting out online, that you're making a thing, that you're kickstarting is different mm. from making a game with just your uh, with just your friends. And, like, do you have any insight, any advice that you want to offer for people who want to do that, who want to become professional writers uh, in that way? So, um, in France, we have facilities to to help. Um, people which have a, an handicap. So um, that's my situation from 20, 20, uh, 2012. Yeah. Um, and um, so um, I can uh, I can have many time to, to write and, uh, you know, there is many, many parts of uh, music, um, uh, writing and, um, uh, mastering many parts of the uh, of the creation, um, so I have time because I'm in France. <laughs> that's uh, uh, not easy for uh, other authors. Uh, that's very difficult. They they need more time. They need uh, also illustrations. Many times there is uh, illustrators which became um, creators of games, game designer. Uh, after that, to to have their own world on the market. But uh, in fact, um, um, that's cheap. <laughs> that that not cheap. That's um, difficult. Yeah, it'll be uh, uh, advanced. Yes. What? Uh, prices it's expensive. Uh, it's expensive. expensive. That's very expensive to to have illustrations in France uh, for a new game. So uh, we need uh, crowdfunding, and, um, and so that's um, that's you know authors as um, how to say it uh, the the poor parents of uh, the the games. Um, that's not easy for autos in, in general, but um, yeah, we do like we we can. <laughs> so that's fair. Uh, yeah, I think we're just. Hang on. Is there anything else uh, you want to like let uh, our audience know? Anything that they be aware of? Anywhere where they can find you, like on uh, on the internet or on social media? Uh, yeah. Any so anything you want to tell the uh, let the audience know? Uh, for games, uh, I have the, the website uh, Hashtag, uh which is the, the site of the website of the society. Uh, there is also the website of Multiversalis. Multiversalis is a, um, a creator um, community uh, with many games, uh, fan made, uh, the, the most openly. But um, there is also um, professional ones uh, uh, and um, they have to just say uh, a game. Uh, game jam? Are they making games or what, do you, what are you trying uh, to say? Um, you know, when you, you give uh, information or tab tables or things like that. Oh, finding tables, like finding groups, uh, yeah. finding players. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, that sounds cool. Uh, yeah. And, no, I... um, and also, there is uh, seniorsenchanteur.fr, the website of uh, Gondaya. Yeah. And also, I, I'm a YouTuber, so I have a, cha a channel, uh, uh, Histoire et Conscience. Nice. Uh, talking about consciousness and uh, history. Of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, those will definitely, like, all those links will be down below. You guys should all be able to see that. Uh, and <laughs> yes, uh, Javier, thank you so much for have, coming to talk, uh, come to talk to us on Cast Fan. Uh, it was a lot of fun talking to you, seeing how it is in France, and seeing like how big yours is and how big, hopefully, uh, India can also grow in that way. Uh, and, yeah, I uh, hope you had fun. Yeah, very fun. <laughs> uh, and to everyone watching, uh, thank you for watching uh, Cast Friendship. Uh, this is the last uh, episode of this season, and we look forward to seeing you guys uh, on the next season. See ya. <laughs>